hello world hello world welcome back to my channel <laughs> call me biz uh norm mcdonald final stand-up performance on letterman all right someone emailed this to me and, and said uh i need to check this out uh so that, that's what i'm gonna do and, and it's early in the morning it's really early so you know perfect time for some norm all right look if you enjoy this content Hit that subscribe button, like the video if you like the video, leave a comment, let me know you were here, alright? No more ghost watching, it's 2024, uh, if you ain't got nothing to say, just be like I was here. I appreciate that, that's love, alright? Uh, let's go ahead and watch. Uh, thanks guys, listen, I don't want to brag or anything, but uh, <laughs> me and Oprah are making the same money tonight. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> the show has loosened up considerably. I noticed <laughs> I was watching Oprah and uh, Dave talking about weed and booze. And... Okay. <laughs> I've never, I don't do either of those. The hardest drug I ever did, LSD. Damn, that, that, that's hard. And uh, I remember as a kid, I was like 16, and I remember they told, warned me, they said, hey, you got to be careful with that LSD on account of you can get a flashback. 10 years can go by, 20 years, 30 years, and a flashback will happen. So I thought, hey, that seems like a good deal. <laughs> you, know, you, you tell me I buy a drug for $5, I eat it, I get high, and then 20 years later, I get high again? <laughs> you went twice. <laughs> That's not the point. I like to stretch my drug dollar. The point is this. <laughs> 10 years have passed, 20 years have passed, 30 years have passed, and no flashbacks. What a jip that turned out to be. <laughs> they got you, my boy. Just more horse <laughs> by the big acid companies. That's all it is. <laughs> but I can't believe it's been a quarter century since I made my television debut. It was all different back then. You know, it was back then I remember if you wanted to take a picture, you would use a camera, <laughs> not a telephone. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if you used a telephone, people would look at you odd. <laughs> you <feel like? laughs> just stay still like that. <laughs> what about in the old days? when they took pictures of you way, way back, you know, where they pulled that thing and it exploded and stuff? <laughs> exploded. I got a picture of my great-grandfather. The thing took six hours to uh, take your picture, and uh, it was a picture of my great-grandfather, one. They only had, every guy had one picture back then. <laughs> and it's just him, like... <laughs> Scared out their mind. I gotta get back, feed them hogs. <laughs> Who's going to feed the hogs? <laughs> Somebody got to feed them hogs. Now, in the future, of course, it'll be different. 50 years from now, people will be going like, hey, you want to uh, see 100,000 pictures of my great-grandfather? <laughs> that, that, that's true. Every single moment from birth. I got him right here. Plus everything he did every day of his life. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Hey, this occurred to me today. Uh, ID, ID, which I had to show it again. There's a strange abbreviation when you think about it. I is short for I. <laughs> and then D <laughs> is short for dentification. <laughs> They could have split that one a little better, you know? <laughs> but I watch the TV, I watch the news, make you afraid of the news, you know? <laughs> Put all these stories on. Iraq, Iran, North Korea, you know, try to scare you, you know? But does it ever really scare you? Like, you ever wake up in the middle of the night, ah, North Korea! <laughs> no one really that thinks about it. That little tiny country across the ocean. <laughs> I wonder if they'll get me. <laughs> Plus, didn't MASH settle that like 20 years ago? Wasn't that a movie? Or a TV show? show. 
There is one country that worries me, though. Not Iraq, not Iran, not North Korea. The only country that really worries me is uh, the country of Germany. I don't know if you guys are history buffs or not, but... Uh, <laughs> They could act up sometimes. In the early uh, part of the previous <laughs> century, Germany decided to go to war. And uh, who did they go to war with? The world. <laughs> that had never been tried before. <laughs> and uh, so you figure that would take about five seconds for the world to win, but uh, no, it was actually close. <laughs> it was like, oh. Yo! Yeah, we don't think about shit like that. <laughs> then, about, then about 30 years pass, and uh, Germany decides again to go to war, and again, it chooses as its enemy, the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this time, they have that guy, crankly, crankly, that guy. And I'm not even going to dignify him by saying his name, but I think you know what I'm talking <laughs> but you'd think at that point the world would go, listen, Germany, here's the deal. You don't get to be a country no more on account of you keep attacking the world. The fucking world. The whole fucking world. I mean, what you... Wow, this is good. <laughs> what do you think, you're Mars or something? <laughs> Anyways, listen, folks, this will be my last time on uh, the David Letterman show, I understand. <laughs> and you know, you know, you guys, we all know that David Letterman was the greatest talk show who, uh, host who ever lived. But I... How does he feel about Conan? I remember... Dave differently because the first time I saw him, I was 13 years old. I was living in. Uh, <laughs> 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 I was living in Toronto, Canada, and I went to a talk show they had there. And uh, David Letterman was the stand up comedian on the show. And uh, I loved stand up. And David Letterman did this joke that I told everybody. This joke, I love this joke. It still uh, stays with me as my favorite stand-up joke ever. So I'd like to do it for you if you'd like to hear it. Let's hear it. Uh, let's hear it. <laughs> he goes, um, I, uh, I, I was on the street the other day and uh, I, uh, I saw a garbage truck and on the back of the garbage truck there was a small sign that said, please do not follow too closely. Another of life's simple pleasures, ruined by a meddling bureaucracy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> who follows who, who follow the guy? You remember the old days when, when Dad would pile the kids in the station wagon and we'd all go out and follow a garbage truck? <laughs> So anyways, I'd just like to say, I know that uh, Mr. Letterman is uh, 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 not for the mockish, and uh, he, has, uh, he has no truck for the sentimental. But if something is true, it is not sentimental. And I say in truth, I love you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Very funny, Norm. And thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Norm MacDonald, ladies and gentlemen. That was very sweet, Norm. Good night, everybody. Great guy, man. Great guy. Great guy. Uh, <laughs> he, yo, he had a couple of smackers on there, like the IT, the I stand for I, the D, densification. Like, <laughs> who thinks of that shit? No, nah, that was good. <laughs> and, and the whole Germany thing. And you know who they chose to go against? The world. But that's true. Uh, we pretend like we care about a lot of things that's going on. I, I guess it, it, it's to like, you know, to feel involved, you know. You ever hear people talk about we, all this we shit. Oh, we might go to war. <laughs> we might go to war. <laughs> okay, Josh. <laughs> but, uh, yo, shout out to Noah, man. Um, 
Now I'm ready to start the day. Now we're ready to start the day. Look, y'all let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. And also, let me know what's next um, from Norm McDonald. And I got you. Uh, I think the person who sent this one to me was Jessica. Damn, I, I don't think I ever replied. I meant to. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next one. Against what you better be, though. Peace.